Here we are. Welcome to Andrew Pro Clay's Team Andrew Profile in Episode 1. My final video. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna humble play this a few weeks before back to school starts. So, yeah, I'm getting this out at a perfect time. So, first of all, I'm not saying any happy Halloween or Thanksgiving or Christmas to anyone because if I were to say that, I'd be saying that to the people who ultimately me, led me to leave YouTube in the first place. So yeah, there's that. So for this particular thing, I'm going to take a really big stab at, at a particular clay steam engine of mine who did not had a good fan base, but did not really deserve it. So, so, so this is going to be what's the engine for for my steam locomotive profiling episode one. Pennsylvania 6100. Yep, my one of my largest locomotives is on this list. Sorry about the noise nearby. Why well, it's just just the movie and uh, Minecraft. So yeah, this particular locomotive is one of my last survivor, one of my last surviving engines in the world. Like this thing is a honker. Okay. This scene is basically one of the biggest steam locomotives I ever made. And it was one of the biggest at the time. However, it wasn't even close to my real largest just steam locomotive. So, so here is a comparison between my S1 duplex and my big boy. And as you can see, the S1 is nearly as big as the big boy. Is is big? Than the big boy, big boy's boiler, but it isn't as big as the engine or bigger, it's like a few inches longer. But, but the S1 lasted longer in service. Don't mind the noise again. So, yeah, the S1 definitely, definitely was huge, but it still could not power where it were, were outsized and outpowered the big boy. Getting back on track with the S1, it, it and many others, it and its other fellow duplexes, performed very well in service until the retirement. All of the locomotives were originally destined for the scrap shortage. However, the S1, the T1 duplex number 5550, and my Q2 number 6130, and my K4 1361 were extremely lucky. The Q, the Q2 number 6130 was actually based off my Q1, which I would cut, which I would fully rebuilt into 6130. Anyways, back on track. The S1 was the lucky one. It was bought. I preserved it at one of my various museums with it. And after the J1 and many other duplexes come, were cut up, the S1, the T1, the Q1, and the K4 took the term survivor to new heights. Heights. Being the only duplexes left in my preservation era. The S1 was also given a cosmetic restoration at the same place it was built. It was then put back on display at one of my parks another few years later. Retinazer then learned inspiration from the Norfolk Southern Steve program to create his own program in the first engines that were in that. A program where Challengers 30 Nights where it was Effie of Nor where Challenger 30 Nights 85 that was 30 Nights 77 sorry and UD Pacific 844 so Red realized he needed more engines to operate the program so he grabbed as many engines as he could and restored them to operational condition the same place where, where many other locomotives were, were Restored, like mentioned earlier. Well, sick. Well, this this, this clay DDA forty. This Lego DDA forty X was my last Lego diesel left. 
Uh, again, sorry for the noise. It's in the background. And these are the other two duplexes I mentioned earlier. Yeah. And so engines like Big Boy. So the S1 was then restored to operational condition. They ran alongside Big Boy 4014, A44 in the in the Challengers, the Ready T1 trio, and many others in Retinesis program. However, Then the S1 was actually seen on on one of on Retinizer's biggest steam events yet. Where a big reunion where a big trio happened in uh let's see uh oh right. Oh right. Right, wait, what was it again? Uh oh! Oh my big steam reunion in in on my main desk in, in my room. Mm, where, where there was all Union Pacific locomotives and all Pennsylvania locomotives there. And all Reading T and Eddie, Ready T ones and all Nickel Play engines there, but. but yeah, the, yeah, they were completely. Yeah, the Pennsylvania locomotives there were outclassed by the uh, Union Pacific and Nickel Play locomotives. Hell, if I had Pierre Marquette number 1225 and I got that locomotive operating sooner. It would have been a crazy reunion. The four whole, whole, five whole different railroad companies in one big reunion. That would have been epic. This is the end of part one. I'll see you in part two.